Occasionally when we're using VirtualBox we find that we run out of space on the installed disk. Uh, it can be a bit of a pain to have to reinstall everything, especially if you've got it set up correctly. So what I'm going to show you how to do here is how to expand the size of the disk. And we're going to do that by a little bit of um, copying or cloning. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to click on the item that we want. In this case, it's going to be Tiny XP. So this is Microsoft XP. Go up the settings. And then click on storage. And we can, if we click on the hard disk, which is the virtual hard disk, we can see it's only 6 gigabytes. So we want to at least double that, but we're going to make it quite a bit bigger. So we click on the IDE controller and then click on add hard disk create a new disk click next next again and we're going to change the name you don't have to change the name okay and then we're going to add uh, we're going to make the disk 20 gigabytes okay so the original disk is 6 gigabytes and this one's going to be 20. So you can see that we've added an extra hard disk. This is the original disk here. That's the original disk, which is 6 gigabytes. And we've added a hard disk, a secondary hard disk, which is 20 gigabytes. Click on, the, on this disk. This means to add a live CD. So we click on live CD. Click on the menu here. And we're going to choose uh, Manjaro. Now it can be any um, live CD as long as it's got G parted on it. Okay, so it can be uh, Manjaro or Mint or Ubuntu or Parted Magic, anything, whatever you want. Click OK. Okay, so to take this a little bit further, what we need to do, uh, we need to start the uh, virtual machine and we want it to start with a live CD. So double click and Manjaro starts. Okay. Okay, so we've started the disk. That's the, the uh, virtual disk. Or virtual box that I should be calling it. Let me wait for it to start. Okay, so there we go, there's the Manjaro desktop. Manjaro, Manjaro. You call it potatoes, I call it something else. Okay, so we're at the desktop. So we can see that uh, the Manjaro user is Manjaro and the root password is Manjaro. Okay, so we've got to the start menu. Click on system. Then G parted and it's going to ask us for a password. Let's click that off a second because we don't need that, do we? Okay, type in Manjaro. Enter. Okay, so we won't worry about this unallocated, but we can see that if we click on, on the, the partition here, this is the original partition of 6 gigabytes, and this is on disk 1 on SDA. If we click here, we can see that we've got this one, this is a Windows disk, and then we've got this one here, which is SDB, which is unallocated. So what we need to do, this is the 20 gigabytes, so we click on device and create partition table. Click apply. Let me go back to SDA, the six gigabyte. Click on the partition, right click, click copy. Go back to the other disk, the 20 gig bit, 20 gig disk, right click on the partition, click paste. Okay, and click paste again and then click apply all operations apply again and it should take a, a minute or two to do this
Okay, then we can see that uh, that has been uh, sorted and everything has been done. So click close. Next, we're going to click on the Windows partition and click. Uh, where is it? Now, if we click on partition, then down to manage flags. Then we're going to allocate a boot flag to this partition. Okay, so you can see it's been added there. Right, so this is the original Windows, which has been copied over. Now we want to increase it to this size. So click on the partition we want, then right click, resize and move, and just drag it across into the free space, into the unallocated space, and click resize and move, and click uh, accept, and apply, and that's all done. See how quick that was? Okay, so that's all done. As you can see, we've got a 20 gig disk, with Windows on it. And we've got a 6 gig disk with Windows on it. Okay, so let's X that off. Now we're going to close the uh, machine down, uh, the virtual machine, the virtual box, shut that down. Okay, so uh, the virtual box is shut down. And we're back at, at the uh, virtual box manager. Highlight the, the uh, virtual box that you want, click on settings, click on storage. Okay, so that's the original disk, that's the 6 gig disk, that's the new 20 gig disk. So we click on there, right click on the, on the one we want to remove, and click on remove attachment. Click on the, on the live CD, right click, remove attachment. Okay, so now we've got just the one disk left, okay? That's the 20 gig disk. So the original disk is gone. Okay, so we're going to start our virtual box again. Probably down by here, so you can see it a little bit better. Windows tries to start, and it knows that there is an error. Well, what you can actually see, you can see that the, the disk has changed. Okay, so let it do its stuff. And it will run check disk. It will take a few minutes, or less than a few minutes really. It will restart. And Windows will boot. There you go.